Alright, what's going on guys? As of right now, from the time I'm recording this video, it is September 23rd. More than likely, I am going to be uploading this sometime Friday or Saturday, most likely Friday, because I am going to actually be uploading two gameplays this weekend. This one, and I have another one coming up, but yeah. So today's topic is going to be about terrible headphones. My experience that I just got with terrible headphones. Now, I ordered some Total Beaches Stealth 700s, I believe they're called, and you know, I've been a fan of Total Beach, you know, for since PS3, you know, I, right now I have the Stealth 400s, and they've been working pretty good, they're kind of broke right now, but they, you know, they still work good, and I've had these for about, what's this year, 2019, I've had these for about, you know, five years, four or five years now. And they still work and they still work pretty good but you know i was on amazon and i was like i want to try to get some other headphones because you know these are broke so i kind of want to upgrade so i'm going on amazon you know i'm looking at all the headphones and stuff you know these are mad expensive like a hundred plus dollars so i'm like uh, i don't know if i want to spend any a hundred dollars on headphones right now so i find some head i find these total beaches for like 70 five dollars i believe it was i found it for 75 dollars and these are like refurbished let's say that because the brand brand new ones were like 120 something so i got the refurbished ones so i've never read customer reviews on amazon but then again i don't order electronic stuff off of amazon all my electronic stuff i've got in store i've never read customer reviews on amazon ever never had never um had to because everything that i got from amazon it was it was good it was straight so I'm all hyped, you know. I order them on Saturday. I'm all hyped for them to come on Monday. I'm like, yeah, man. Finally gonna get some good headphones, this and that. Monday come, I get off of work at 5.30. I get home around what, 6, almost 6.30. I see the box in my chair. I'm all hyped up. So I take it out of the box, you know. I do everything I needed to do, hooking it up and all that. And then I seem to run into an issue. It won't connect to my system. And I'm like, okay, why is it not connected to my system? Because I did it the exact same way. I hooked up my Stealth 400s. I plugged the um, transmitter into my PS4. Obviously, the headset's dead, so I plugged the headset up as well. Then I get, what do you call it, a little safety pin, something like that, yeah, a safety pin. And I stick it in the reset thing, the little, that little tiny button on the side of the transmitter. I stick it in there, hold it, you know, it flashes a couple times. And then I hold the power button on the headset so it can pair up and it says power on bluetooth on pairing and it does not connect now the first time the very first time it did connect but there was no sound to it i tried to do everything i tried to sound all the way up turn all the way down all the way up no sound so i cut it off and redid the process now this time when i did it it wouldn't even connect to my system so i'm like okay what's going on why why is this not connected to my system and i did this for about 10 times but then on like the ninth try it i go to my bluetooth settings on my system and i see it pops up at the very bottom underneath all the other controllers i see it pop up at the very bottom so i click it and it says this ps4 does not support this device what? It literally says compatible with PS4 and PS4 Pro. It does not say only PS4 Pro. It says compatible with PS4 or PS4 Pro. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, what's, what's, what's going on with this? So, you know, like a normal person would do, I go on Google and I look up how to troubleshoot it. But when I go on Google, I'm looking at the first thing I see is these headphones suck these headphones are garbage don't waste your money ordering these headphones so i'm like oh my god why is everybody bashing these headphones so i go on am i go on i click on the website and it's talking about these headphones are trash this and that don't waste your money ordering these headphones and i'm like what, what's going on and i want to include some of the comments that i saw but I'm not sure how to implement them into my gameplay right now. So, you know, I'm going to read some of them off. I'm, some of them off. The ones that are very out there. I, I'm, I'm going to read some of them off. So, here's the first one. This is from Arash Naka. I don't know how to say that name. He says, hello. Every two, three times I have to do is... Mm, this dude cannot speak proper English. 
Um, every two or three times I have to do is the pairing process to pair the headset with transmitter. Seems they lose connection very often and it's not nice and I have to do it all over again. It's like happen Okay, you know what? I cannot do this. I'm gonna find another one like quick. Okay, this is from another guy. He says I can't connect to my headset. The Stealth 700 to the PC using Bluetooth, they only connect to a voice. This is PC, but obviously he's having trouble with the Stealths on PC. Another one from Nathan. He said, I just opened my headset this morning, and now my transmitter is not pairing with my headset. I tried to pair multiple times now, but it's not working. Is there any solution to my problem? No comments whatsoever. And another one, he agreed with Nathan. He said, I'm having the same problem Nathan is. I had a PS4, and I had the 700s paired to the PS4, well, I got the PS4 Pro for Christmas and I tried switching the transmitter over to the PS4 Pro, but the headset won't pair to the transmitter. All of these comments are people having trouble with this headset and I didn't I didn't realize that it was so bad. And this is on the Turtle Beach website. Now the, on the Amazon website, when I went to look at the customer reviews on the Amazon website, when I tell you I was shook with what I saw, it has 3.1 out of 5 stars, right? Right. Okay. But here's the kicker. There's more one star reviews than five star reviews. The five star reviews are all 29%. Four stars, 14. Three stars, 12. Two stars, 11. One star is 34%. You hear what I said, right? One star is 34%. Five stars, 29%. How does a item have more one star reviews than a five star review? That was my first mistake, not checking this thing. So I click on the one star review because I'm like, oh my God. God, what in the world? And the first thing I see is overpriced garbage. Yeah, I'll admit, the headphones are kind of overpriced a little bit, but overpriced stuff is supposed to be good, right? It wasn't. So the dude that said overpriced garbage, I'm going to be like one pair, because he did like a couple paragraphs. So I'm going to be like one of the paragraphs. He said, if you sit more than one foot away from your TV, be prepared for your headset to immediately disconnect all the time. You will not be able to get consistent sound out of them ever. It is the most frustrating thing playing a game or watching a movie and all of the sudden the sound cuts out. Speaking of sound, the sound from these headphones is absolutely terrible quality. It sounds like a stereo headset and you cannot tell in the slightest there is stereo sound. Next one, two times the disappointment. Device shorted out during regular use, unplugged, and operated under battery power lasted from November 2017 to July 2018. And the replacement that he ordered let me, is the exact same one that burned out in the same manner four days after unboxing. Now I can't replace this one since it's been longer than a few weeks. And see, they think they slick with this because, yeah, sure, they give you a they give you a time limit, but obviously, if it works for doing that time limit, people aren't gonna take it back. But if it messes up after the return date has passed, you can't send it back, so you're stuck with it, and you lost a hundred plus dollars because the headset doesn't want to work. I've been with Turtle Beach for years. I've never had an issue with Turtle Beach at all. The only thing I had issue with Turtle Beach was was this plastic that keeps breaking whenever I'm on my game. Cause this is a, these 400s are the second pair of headphones I got because the first ones they broke because it's cheap plastic. I mean, it's it's, it's cheap plastic. It just broke. So I think I'm just gonna have to get Astros. To be honest, I think I'm just gonna have to get Astros because I I I am so disappointed in Turtle Beach what they did to these 700s i don't know what I don't, I don't know what they did they didn't do something right with these headphones every other headphone i've seen has been good except i looked up the astro a10s those are bad as well i've read some customer reviews from that one but those are bad as well so i think i'm just gonna have to save up and get those the a40s i think it is i think it's the a40s or the a50s so i'm gonna have to get one of them and those are like 149 by right? the brand new right out the right out the box those are 149 so i think i'm just gonna have to get those i'm gonna have to sit up and get that but I'm also trying to get an Elgato too. So I'm trying to figure out which one I should get. Leave a comment down below. Which one should I get? Should I go and get those Astros or should I get those that Elgato since my 400 still work? Because I'm trying to get this thing before Modern Warfare drops. But then again, I'm probably not gonna get Modern Warfare until like mid-November, maybe. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, that's my little rant for the day. I just wanted to make a video in this same day explaining why I am done with total beach i'm done with total beach headsets i'm done i'm sticking with astros everybody's saying astros is the best anywhere
so I'm sticking with them. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like rating. And subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. My links are in the description down below. But other than that, have a good day and peace out.